What's up guys and gals? So we are back at it again. Uh, camp razor preparation, right? We gotta get this beast ready to shred some dunes, okay? Um, and with that, we don't really go to the sand that much. We prefer hard packed. I mean, we go to Superstition, that's just our spot. It's where I grew up riding and it's just, you know, it's got a little bit of everything, but we had to buy some paddles. Uh, short notice, I tried to get some I wanted some like sand crafts or um, some scat tracks or something like that. Um, that's the look I prefer and I wanted to go 32s. I couldn't get anything, couldn't get anything short notice. Um, so I ended up going with some 30s. Um, these are sand blasts. I had them on my razor, my turbo razor. It did all right. I mean, they're all right for a uh, um, uh, lower end tire. I wouldn't say they're like lower end, but they are like a molded tire. Um, but yeah, you get a super, super good deal on them. So not too mad at it. And, uh, you know, eventually I'm going to get some, some scats with some like DWTs to throw on this thing. So without further ado, um, oh, and also, so what I'm going to throw these on, I'm not going to throw them on the methods. Um, cause the methods are, are 15s and, uh, the tires I got were for 14s. So I'm going to throw them on the stock wheels and tires or stock wheels. So I'm going to break those down. Um, you know, hopefully that goes smooth because, you know, obviously the beadlock part's really easy to take off, but breaking the bead from the other side is, could be difficult. We'll see. Might have to throw some soapy water or WD-40 in there. But anyhow, um, so yeah, let's, let's open these up, see how they look. Um, I haven't even opened them yet. They're still in the, you know, uh, spray and wrap or whatever. So we'll break, break those down. Um, I'll do time-lapse for all this stuff because it's just arbitrary stuff. It's tedious stuff but if there's anything that uh, I get stuck on or any tricks or tips along the way I'll stop explain what I did and uh, go from there so let's see how it goes So beating on it with uh, pry bars and dead blow in my garage is not working. So I'm out on the streets in my driveway. Um, I do have a hack for this, you know, so they take it to the tire shop. You can do it at home, but you need a few things. Obviously something to lay it down on. You don't want to scratch your rim and it, a bottle jack and something heavy, like the back of your truck, a trailer, something, right? And what you're going to do is you're going to grab this bottle jack and you're going to place it on the, the very edge, not on the rim but just against it like that. And you're gonna go to the bottom of your truck where the hitch is and jack it up. Um, maybe put a little silicone spray inside the tire um, on the bead, just so it breaks a little easier. But it's super simple. Just do this and uh, you might have to stand on that side, the opposite side, but do it and it'll pop right off and I'll show you now. All right, if you can see that there, uh, I mean, that's pretty much what I'm talking about. It completely broke. Um, these are very dry. So it might help to put a little silicone spray or something. I did on the first one and it came right off. This one was a little, tr like I struggled a little bit, but yeah, it just goes on the bottom of your hitch to the edge of the bead and you're good to go. So a little redneck, but uh, I mean, no offense, but I think if you ride a side by side, you might be a little redneck. So let's go on to the next ones. All right, so now that we've broken a little sweat, uh, by breaking the beads on these damn things. I mean, we got a stack of Maxis Bighorns that are brand new, still with the tag on it. Um, so yeah, now we got to orientate these and put them on these guys right here. Um, lay them out. You know, it doesn't matter, they're non-directional. Uh, they do have wheel weights on them because they were balanced from the factory, so you might want to remove them because they don't apply now. You could leave them, it's not gonna matter at all. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna put uh, the fronts, Facing opposite ways. Uh, I don't think it says on it. I think I'm, yeah, it says rotation right here. Okay, so you're, the Mohawks are going out. And uh, I'm gonna put the DOTs facing out as well. So it's gonna be outside, uh, front and left. So driver's side front is what this is gonna be and we're gonna do that now.
All right, so more or less, that's what it's gonna look like. I, I haven't mounted them yet. Um, you know, I, I'm gonna use the stock center caps just to cover those, and while I'm in there, I'm gonna grease the wheel bearings before this trip. This thing's got 20 miles on it, so uh, I, I heard that they have very little wheel uh, grease in the bearings from factory, so we're gonna hook that up. I do have the tool. Uh, we'll see if I can show you that. Uh, you know, it's just a side video or something like that. I'm, I'm sure there's a million out there, so maybe not. But um, yeah, I'm almost done with everything on this. Uh, but I just want to show you how simple this was. I mean, it, it's, it's, you know, you, it takes some work, honestly. But if you have a bottle jack or something like that and um, you're willing to do it, you can definitely get this done at home. Uh, thank God, you know, you could not do this if uh, they're standard wheels. You know, the only way you could do this is if they're beadlock because you're really just breaking down one side. Um, but that's it, I mean, they look good. Super light setup, honestly. I think it's like 35 pounds for these. And, you know, these are these are 32 BFGs. And the height difference isn't that much. Um, I really wish I got 32s, but whatever. And I'm already clutched for all this, so we're good to go here. We might have to do some tuning while we're out there, but yeah, other than that, we're good. Yeah, just to show you the height difference. I mean, yeah, it's it's, it's an inch or two. It, they they are, they are under. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get to do the gusset kit, the salt gusset kit before this trip. I was wishing I, I did, or even the uh, the metal radius arm uh, dual shear bracket from salt as well. Um, maybe we'll save that for when we get back. Hopefully, I don't break nothing. I'm gonna take the stuff just in case, but. Yeah, uh, that's it, man. I mean, I'll be out there on these guys. It was a quick setup, easy, cheap. Um, these tires, I got them for 400 bucks out the door, you know? Um, so yeah, if I see you out there, say hey and uh, be safe. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.